This is how the weapons work in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. So how this works is the contraband weapons are the weapons that you expo with and the weapons you can find in the game. If you expo with those weapons, they will go into your contraband. But if you die with that weapon, you will lose it forever. The insert slot is a, a weapon. You can pick any weapon in the game. But if you die with it, it's going to be on a cooldown. And if you are able to reduce that time, you have to do successful expos to reduce that time. You can also pick between a lethal, a tactical, and a secondary. The first field upgrade you'll be using, which is the energy mine. You want to unlock the other ones, you have to unlock it at a certain level. To unlock the other insert slots, you have to progress into the story to unlock the other two. Also, if you find a ammo mod or a specific perk that you want to keep, you can actually find an ammo mod and don't use it or a perk and you don't have to use it at that moment and you can actually save it for your next game so if you have like a jug or a speed cooler you want to save for your next run you can have those but you got to make sure you find those but if you if you use it it's only for that match and if you save it you can use it for the next match only so now since you get your weapons or you're ready to pick whatever class you want to go in and make sure you can go into squad of field don't go in solo because you will get absolutely destroyed there's going to be a message that pops up to pretty much confirm that you want to use this loadout if you just want to progress in the story you're going to have to do these challenges in the game to progress the story and there's actually in-game cutscenes which is actually pretty cool once you load in the game you're going to see a map and you're always going to spawn in the outskirts of the map and as you go into the center it's going to get more difficult it goes from tier one tier two and tier three so tier one is gray tier two is the yellow and gold and tier three is the extremely red area how this works is once you jump into a game whatever like if you want to pack a punch your weapon to a level one you have to go to the gray area if you want to level up your gun to pack a punch two you have to go into the yellow area then if you want to pack a punch fully max it out to the third one you have to go to the hardest area which is uh, the third zone which is the middle red area and this works for all you do in this mod for three zombies so how this works is once you go into a contract and whatever area you're in that is going to be the difficulty whatever mission or contract that you are doing you can also find uh, wall buys off of walls which is really nice and you can also get free ammo on the map also just because you need ammo and there's also vehicles on the map there's different kind of vehicles you can also repair your vehicles and there's also perks on the map which you gotta find located icons on the map and they're really scattered around the map depending what area you're in that's the tier that you can upgrade your gun in so if you're in gray pack a bunch one if you're in yellow that would be the second pack a punch then if you're in the center that'd be the third pack a punch all the items that you looted you can actually go to a station and sell everything or you can use all those points that we have you can buy like armor plates a gas mask and kill streaks the first objective you can do is the contracts with this the blue logo like located on your map there is a different variety of contracts and objectives that you can do around this contract and there is multiple objectives for example i had to deliver a cargo to a special location with a vehicle and once you deliver it you will get loot from it and i received a schematic for a speed cola what i can do is i can craft one of those speed colas then it's on a three hour cooldown so i can only craft one of those every three hours once you find the schematic you can use it every three hours as you want to if you get any schematic in one for three zombies where it's a perk ammo mod or one of weapons or whatever you get make sure to do an expo without dying because if you die with that schematic you pretty much lose it then you have to find the one you want and you have to get lucky and keep doing contracts or any activities inside of one for three zombies and pretty much get lucky to get it by killing an ai i actually got a key card that dropped from a stronghold and i went to my map pinged the nearest stronghold and went to that stronghold once entering a stronghold, there will be enemies and plus with the enemies with rice shields and regular enemies. Once you go in here, once you explore the stronghold, there will be a safe that you can find. As you defend this safe, there's going to be a lot of enemies going to be pushing you, which I had a helicopter that pushed me with enemies. So I found an LMG on the ground and then I just sprayed it down until the helicopter exploded, which was the most epic moment of me playing this game mode. Just stay FYI, once you do all these activities inside of this game mode, everything you do, the rewards you earn from these activities or strongholds, or fortress whatever you do all of this is rng so there's not really a specific thing you can actually go for everything is random so this is what really this game mode is all about is you going in and trying to get these items that you want they there's a prize mechanics of items that is where this replayability gets you go in you try to go to that specific item go back out expo do the same thing and keep going until you want to get that specific item or perk or aim mod that you want and it's pretty much this is what a extraction shooter is really all about is going into this big 
humongous map of horde of zombies taking out fortresses and strongholds and just basically survive as long as possible until the time runs out until you have to expo. So the strategy I did was I stayed on the outskirts of the map and I did so many activities until I got to enough to upgrade and pack a bunch of my weapon. So when I went into the medium difficulty of the map, I would be able to kill zombies as fast as possible and not get overrun as much. When you pull your map out, the right side that says legend, those are all of the icons and all the activities on the map that you can go to. So the ether nest, this is probably the, one of the most difficult activities to do this, especially by yourself. And what you do is you go into this little room and you have to shoot these little gold nests around this room. And then once you shoot all of them, as you're shooting them, you will have zombies that will be rushing you. So if you got a monkey bomb or any equipment or any field upgrades that you can use at this moment, this is perfectly fine because there's gonna be so many zombies rushing you, so many little mini bosses that's gonna be here and I was stuck here solo by myself and I had a mimic that rushed me. If you got a full team and stay together, you'll be able to take down these zombies and bosses in no time. But a solo player, as you see here, I was almost struggling. I was getting bombarded by zombies since I had that pack a bunch weapon and I got apart from that. I am now like going in and actually being able to kill these zombies for all. Once you shoot all the nests at that location, you're going to have these chests that you can loot with these purple crystals on it. And hopefully you get good loot and it's basically everything is RNG in this loot. So the best way I did it is I stayed in the gray area until I did a couple activities enough to get a pack a punch. And once I did enough activities to have a pack a punch, one weapon, I went into the medium difficulty of the map, which was with zombies with armor. So since I have a pack a punch weapon, I have I can actually have a chance to kill them. First time playing this, I wasn't able to kill anything because my gun was stuck at the default rarity, and I had no pack a punch weapon, and I didn't have it upgraded at all. So I was really struggling. So if you just work your way up into this mode uh, you would really succeed when i was playing solo i did the same thing as playing with other people or randoms i did the same thing if you're playing solo and you get overrun you're pretty much fucked because no one will save you and unless you get a full team that actually cares or there's other teams around you that would get you your chances are really low of getting revived if you're by yourself when you go down if you hit the mystery box and you get a wonder weapon a ray gun or whatever you get you only get to keep it for that match which absolutely sucks so if you if you have a wonder weapon in the x but with it, you don't have it for the next match. You only have it for the current match you're currently in, which sucks. So if you get a wonder weapon, enjoy the way you have it. So, so I got to the point in my match where I only had a couple of minutes left and I had a wonder weapon. So I was like, screw it. I'm going to go ahead and find the nearest expo and get the hell out of here. And while you expo, there is a lot of zombies. This is more zombies than outbreak from Cold War zombies. There were so many zombies. It was just, it was, it was, I feel like it was in a movie. It was, there was just so many zombies. And once you expo everything that you got in your rook sack will transfer into XP. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. You guys want to see more Modern Warfare 3 zombies videos in any of your future? Let me know in the comments below and my final thoughts on this zombies experience i have over probably about 10 hours played already in this game mode and my final thoughts are i'm not a i'm not a fan of the time limit and this game can get really freaking difficult and not be able to save not be able to use your wedded weapons in your next game if you explode with them or and the armor plate the armor plates are just annoying so hopefully they fix that but probably not i don't think armor plates even belong in zombies but it's whatever i guess so i hope you guys really enjoy this and comment below what you guys think about this in the comments below i hope you guys really enjoy this hit that bell and set it to all and i'll see you guys next time peace